Hello guys, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and today we are going to work on uh, Alcatel 3V how to bypass the Google verification account so just make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi now you can see that the phone device was reset so what we are gonna do is go back uh, you will select the language select any of the language go to call then hit the plus sign once you click this you can see you will see the web sign click on this one when you press and hold it you can see this green button click on here and then press this one and now you can add few languages and then hit it again select another one now you go back so we can change the language to English so we know what we are doing now you click on this one again click on emergency information again and you can see the edit sign click on this one now add contacts once you click on this um, search option here you can see in the bottom of the keyboard that it will show the web sign click on this one and now language setting once you go to language setting you will go here add keyboard once you go here go down you can see any language that in front of there there is an arrow click on that one now here you will select these three dots and then help and feedback now in help and feedback manage google as setting the second will be about switch access for android click on this one once you click on this one tap one time on the main screen and then you can see these three dots click on this one it will show watch later click on watch later now accept and continue no thanks now we are already in this screen so what we are going to do is we will download an app <coughs> that will be bit dot l y forward slash l a u n c h e r launcher underscore underscore a p e x apex now you can see here click on this one once you click on this one you will download this now continue allow once you see this click ok and then you can see open then click on the setting chrome allow from the source now you will hit install and then open now before we are going to do that let me check something mm, that when we do it or no if we go to security and location okay lock screen fingerprints click on fingerprints then hit next okay i was trying to do the other way but it didn't work out so we are going to go back to the main screen 
now once we are here we will go to the chrome and you can see the top so we already downloaded one app we are going to download the second one bit.ly forward slash frp underscore google now you can see this one click on this one and hit download once you hit download click ok and then click open install and once it's installed hit done now we are going to download a third app that will be bit.ly uh, forward slash frp underscore bypass you can see this one click on this one now what you're gonna do is download okay in case if you cannot uh, show these pops up so you can go here to the three dots and search and download you will see your apps now install and hit open once you click open here now here what you are going to do browser sign in hit ok now here you are going to put a new gmail that uh, you already created because you forget the old one so for this new one you already know the password so i'm going to put my gmail okay i put my gmail then i'm going to put the password in it okay i hit the password now it's signing in now once it's sign in what you need to do click on these and uh, you go back to the main screen now if you go to the setting and check accounts see it will have my new gmail account that i put it so what you are going to do is press and hold it and power reset the phone once you restart the phone It will take few moments to restart the phone. Okay, now hit next, skip. This thing will take a few moments to start it. Do not copy. and you can see that this is the new gmail i created for this the same way it will show your email so you will just hit next next set up time save time and next now you will click here and hit accept Just hit not now. Skip. Not now. Skip. And next. No thanks. No thanks. Finish. 
now we are in the phone but it's not completely locked so what we are going to do go to setting scroll down and we can even type in here reset okay erase all data factory reset and restart the phone erase everything okay now the phone is unlocked if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel and uh, we will be with you in next few videos thank you so much have a nice one enjoy your time